Hi everybody. All right, for problem set four, question four will be hypothesis testing on a proportion. And basically all this is is comparing the, the proportion from previous studies to a new pr proportion of a current study. And I got my example from a website uh, where the presenter does a very nice job of uh, uh, explaining um, the Z test that will be used to um, calculate the da data. So um, if you haven't watched the um, um, video yet, um, go to the PowerPoint that I, I gave you all and there, there is a link to it. And um, it, it, it has text and then scroll down and you'll see the video. So basically all we're going to do is compare uh, that 9 out of 10 doctors recommend aspirins for their patients with headaches. And, um, and his previous um, hypothesis, um, no hypothesis is 90 or, or proportion is 0 0.90. And the, again, the alternative hypothesis is going to be point, uh, proportion is not going to equal to 0 0.90. Now, in, the, in a new study that, that was done, they um, of a with a sample population of 182 do doctors um, said that um, recommended as aspirins for their patient. Now you're going to have to work with decimal not numbers. So just in case the decimal not um, the um, observed success proportion. It's not a is is a whole number. Just convert it into a decimal number, and that's pretty e easy. Um, it's um, using Excel. It's just um, in this case, 82 divided by 100. The 100 is the um, sample population. That gave, that gives you the um, proportion of 0.82. But make sure you put in the correct uh, proportion. Uh, excuse me, the correct sample po population because might not always be a hundred. Now what I did. Is I've taken his for formula here, and I converted it into steps. I just I just broke it down into steps. That I think might be a little bit easier for you all. So basically, what what it is, it's p hat. That's your success minus p minus the um, uh, already observed uh, pr proportion and and that is ju just this equals 0.82 minus 0.9, and that, that, that's your answer. And as you can see, that's what I got here, and it goes along with his formula too. And, and this is, by the way, the formula is textbook for formula uh, and, uh, and so forth. You can go in any textbook and see the same. And now what's, what the most uh, involved is, is do you have to come up with the standard deviation for the denominator. Your sample proportion is the denominator. Now you need a denominator. And here is the Excel formula that you can use. And when you use it, you got to really make sure you get these parentheses in there correctly. If you don't, um, I have experienced this. And if you don't, Excel sometimes will correct it for you. Um, you can try it and see both ways and see what happens. So basically, all it is is the square root, which your two parentheses, 0.9 time in, in parentheses, 1 minus 0.9 divided by 100, because that's your sample po population, and double parentheses. And if you do that correctly, this is the answer that will come up. And as you see, it's the same as um, that he came up with. And then now you need just need to divide the denominator by the um, uh, numerator. Um, excuse me, numerator by the denominator. So it's um, numerator divided by uh, denominator, and that's the answer you come up with. That's the answer I came up with. So the claim that nine out of ten doctors recommend aspirins for their patient is not accurate because your Z value is less than 1.96 which is on this chart right here for a two 
sided. Remember, it's symmetrical, so it's it's negative 1.96 on the left, 1.96 on the right, and that's 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 how you do it. But I highly suggest you watch his video. All right, Spot I Say, Doc Chasen, signing off.